Hey, what's going on everybody? Brando Free to Play back on my Free to Play account and today's video um, I'm gonna do a, a, a kind of a, a guide or an explanation as uh, far as crafting in Iron Throne. Now crafting is something that is uh, extremely important because gear is very important in this game it is probably the most or the second most important aspect if you want to defend attack anything like that okay you need to have good stats and the best way of getting good stats is by getting good gear okay so let's actually look at where you can actually make your gear okay so uh, the forge is, uh, oops, the forge, I'm actually doing a, 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 a chaos, an inferno event right now. I'm doing the chaotic stronghold. So you guys might be able to see what kind of troops I have. But uh, currently, uh, the forge is where you can make your gear. So you can actually see all the different gear sets right and you can also see which items you already have okay and it also tells you what is the highest grade of that item that you currently have so you guys can see here my conqueror set it's pretty low i only have one purple ring i was very lucky to get that i was actually pretty happy when i got it purple i was like oh crap i didn't even realize it okay uh, these are your battle sets okay you have your two uh, sets that are per very common for low might players or players that are just starting out. They are primarily infantry uh, related, okay? Infantry stats, heavy, okay? Same with the Berserker set, which is all infantry. Conqueror set is also all infantry, but then you start getting into the Destroyer, the Dominator, and the Guardian set, okay? Destroyer is the Archer set. Dominator is the Cavalry set. And the Guardian is the defensive set, okay? Now you can craft all of these once you have the materials, okay? Economy, we have similar uh, items. Um, you have an Architect, Scholar set, and sometimes it'll even tell you how to obtain it, okay? So for these, you need to reach Castle Citadel 25, which, in all honesty, takes a very long time. For only 2%, that's kind of kind of BS in my opinion but you know this isn't an opinion video this is kind of like a little tutorial guide on how to get your gear up there okay just going quickly through here showing you the different sets that you can get now you can craft equipment okay so when you click on craft you'll see this and you might get confused okay some people might go to craft equipment and be like okay I want a helmet then they'll see all these helmets and they'll pick one and they'll be like okay i can craft this let me craft it okay or you can be like me where uh you might not have the material needed uh, i don't think this is a good example i think i have materials to craft at least something right like for in this case glorious armor i have a 20 percent chance of getting it gold right that's a pretty high chance okay now one of the things that you guys will see is if you cycle through some of these sets you'll be like okay each one of these are pretty different i want to just look at one set in particular okay that's when you go to set equipment so here it actually lists in all the sets in sort of an order okay so if you want to go just the construction set here are all the construction pieces okay pretty simple to understand right okay same thing with the Berserker set. Here are all the pieces. Guardian, all the pieces, and so forth. All the way down to the Sagacious set. Okay? Pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Shouldn't be too hard to kind of grasp this concept. Okay? Now, one of the things that you may notice. Let's take a look at the Guardian set, for example okay you will see the tabs here okay you'll see me cycling through okay so what do these actually mean okay so based on the iron throne math or their algorithm however they want to you know define what percentages these are pretty much this tells you when you hit craft 
you have a 3% chance of this being a green helmet. You have a 60% chance of it being a blue helmet, 30% chance of purple, and 7% chance of gold. Obviously, you would love to be that lucky 7% and get gold. But, 6 times out of 10, you're going to get blue. It's a 60% chance, so it kind of makes sense, right? Now, one way, or the only way, to increase this number is to get your materials at a higher grade okay so here is a tip that I would like to give you guys every time before you craft equipment every single time go through your material and check to see if you can combine anything to make it better and usually you will see uh, some items like this one that has an up arrow so you click on that and you just hit combine all and look at that we upgraded those four into this item now we cannot upgrade it further because we don't have enough materials okay so a lot of this is kind of a waiting game it's very up to ch it's very much up to chance it's a random you know a lot of people it's, it's actually referred to an RNG it's a random number generator it just randomly gives you the materials and you just have to pray for the best or if you're superstitious you know hold your lucky rabbit's foot knock on wood spin around three times and I don't know do whatever you do that'll get you better odds okay now combining these materials you will always get the same results that has no flexibility in it if you have four materials it'll upgrade to the next level and that is it okay and uh, if you have uh, let's say four uh, greens you upgrade it it'll be one more blue okay hope that makes sense it should be pretty self-explanatory um, you can also dismantle items if you so choose Now, what happens once you have the item, okay? You have the item and you want to upgrade that item. You want to make this uh, better, right? You want to get this up to gold. Well, you have the ability to upgrade your gear, okay? Now, before I actually go into in-depth upgrading of the gear, there is something that you need to be made aware of. There is a research tab called Craft, okay? You need to get all of these, you know, unlock common, uncommon research grade, unlock rare research grade, unlock epic, and then unlock immortal grade, okay? Once you have unlock immortal grade, that means you can upgrade your gear up to an immortal grade. Pretty self-explanatory, if you ask me, but it is required, okay? Let's say you re you craft an item and it ends up being a green item, and you want to upgrade it to a mortal. You're like, okay, I want to I wanna get this up to gold. Let me do it. You will get an error message saying that you need to go check your research and blah, blah, blah. You need to do this. This is what it's referring to. Okay, so it's very quick, very simple to get it up to the immortal grade. It doesn't take a lot of time, doesn't take a lot of resources. I got it up fairly quickly, sped it up, not too much of a hassle. Okay, so once you have that feature or that research completed, you can then come here, click upgrade, and it'll tell you the materials you need and at what grade you need them to upgrade that item, okay? So for this case, I need 25 epic equipment upgrade hammers. I need three of the, uh, this, this is common, uh, ice ore. I need three common conquer carapace, and I need three common mysterious herbs. Now you guys can see here, well I have greens, I have blues, I even have a purple eyesore. 
So this is where the dismantle actually comes into play. So I dismantle one, and look at that, I have six out of three. I have what is required for that item. So you need to get to do that for all of them, okay? And then once you have all the items, you click upgrade, it'll use up whatever many hammers it requires, and you will have the upgraded item. Pretty self-explanatory, you can do that all the way up to Immortal. Now, quickly looking at some of my gear, at least my helmet. If you guys can spot the difference between all of these helmets, I will thumb up your comment, I will heart your comment. I will definitely show you some love if you can see the difference. And, uh, okay, three, two, one, okay. So you guys see here, this item is a level 20 Berserker Helm plus two. And uh, I do have a regular Berserker Helm that is doesn't have any pluses. Now you guys can see here, this has 60% infantry attack. The plus two has 72% infantry attack. Some of you guys might be like, hey, how'd you do that? How, how, how? I don't, I don't, I don't get it. How'd you do it? It is actually pretty simple, okay? I went ahead and I went to enhance, okay? Now, again, let me, let me, let me rewind a little and let me show you guys. You need to go back into the craft research tree and you need to unlock or complete increase enhancement level, okay? So you need to, you have up to five stages here, okay? You can go one through five in this uh, research. It does take time and it does take resources, okay? It, it, it does, it takes more time than anything. So if you have the speed ups, if you have the gold or whatever, I really highly recommend that you begin looking into these researches because it is very important. A base set of equipment is not end game okay it, it's not 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 even close okay it's not even close but some people like to believe it is it's not i'm aware of it i'm a free-to-play player i know that my gear is nowhere near end game okay so you need to increase the enhancement level pretty self-explanatory now let me show you exactly what it means to enhance your gear, okay? So let me go ahead and pick this Berserker Helm, okay? So, <coughs> excuse me. So, Berserker Helmet to enhance plus one, you need another immortal or gold grade Berserker Helm to essentially sacrifice to enhance one item. Okay, and this applies all the way from pl enhancement plus one all the way to enhancement plus 10. Okay, once you get from plus 10 to plus 15, it requires two. Okay, and I got this information from another YouTuber and he confirms it. It's from one to 10. It, you only need one immortal item per enhancement grade to sacrifice from 10 on, like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, you need two per enhancement level. I hope this kind of makes sense, okay? And in order to get to enhancement plus three, plus four, you need to complete the researches, okay? And I can tell you right now, that is gonna take a lot of time. This game is not meant to be completed in a day, okay? If you enjoy this game, you enjoy the game. You will grind it out. You will wait it out. You will eventually get to that point where you're like, okay, I am comfortable. I know my limitations. I know where I'm at and I'm happy with it. Okay. And uh, that is pretty much all I can say right now is when it comes to crafting, there are more researches that will further enhance the base stats of your gear. Okay. But that is for another video. This video, I hope, answers almost all of the questions that you may have in regards to crafting. And until next time, guys, bye.